are the times when silence speaks louder than words. And today we are paying a tribute and a tearful tribute to a beloved Queen Elizabeth II. Her Majesty ruled for over 70 years, longer than any other monarch in British history, becoming a much loved and respected figure across the globe. Her Majesty was a dedicated head of the Commonwealth, linking more than 2 billion people worldwide. The Queen was served by 15 UK Prime Ministers during her reign. As head of state, she also acted as diplomat and hostess, welcoming over 110 presidents and prime ministers to the UK on official visits. Her Majesty will always be remembered for a devotion to duty and public service. And before taking the throne, Her Majesty's words were, I declare before you all that my whole life, whether it be long or short, shall be devoted to your service. As political leaders and media outlets around the world have been paying tribute to our Queen, amidst all this, a beautiful poem by Joanne Boyle has captured the world's heart. And it says, Philip came to me today and said it was time to go. I looked at him and smiled as I whispered that I know. I turned and looked behind me and seen I was asleep. All my family around me, I never could hear them weep. I gently touched his shoulder with Philip by my side. Then I turned away and walked with my angel guide. Philip held my hand as he led the way to a world where kings and queens are monarchs every day. I was given a crown to wear or a halo known by some. The difference is up here. They are worn by everyone. I felt a sense of peace. My reign had seen its end. 17 years I have served my country and the people's friend. Thank you for the years, for all your time and love. Now I'm one of two again in a palace above. The poem may have ended, but the feelings lingers on.